So Jessica, can you just elaborate on what exactly is happening? Now we are just getting this painting paper, kind of measuring out each piece and we need eight pieces per window. So we're kind of just cutting those all now so we can complete one step at a time. Uh, and then yeah, these will be prepped for paint. I'm so excited. The, what is it called? Emergency exit windows have adhesive at the bottom. So we're just using a heat gun. How's it going? Is it pretty quick? Yeah, so I use this 30 seconds before I actually scrape so that way the adhesive melts up. It goes pretty good. I keep it at a slow, constant pace. I'm using some acetone and a rag to go over the gun and remove all this debris. So Jessica, for the people sitting behind the screen at home, can you give them some insight as to how long a project like this is actually taking us? Literally, we've spent the last six hours just papering windows. We're still like halfway. Jacob has basically just given up. That's not entirely true. Her strengths are in the papering. My strengths are in other applications. I had to paper pretty much all of these by myself. He's done one window. This is true. All right, Jessica, thank you so much for this interview. We appreciate your time. Okay. Keep on going on. Thanks. All right, thank you. Check in soon. I'm gonna get a window. I'll just take one. Every time we do one coat of the uh, windows, they need 10, 15 minutes to dry. And so <laughs> every like 15 minutes, we have to take another 10 minute break. That's like the only thing slowing us down. Every single time that we talk about an itinerary for a next step, for instance, painting the windows. We think, yeah, we're gonna do all the priming and painting in one day, and it never happens, but we still set standards that are unobtainable the next time. So we thought we were gonna be able to prime and paint these windows today, and we've barely gotten through priming, and the sun's almost gone. Today is going to be a paint day. We are painting our gloss Rust-Oleum Black Protective Enamel, but we ran into an issue. Our primer took 15 minutes to dry and be handled. This is five to seven hours. As always, time has been added to our project. So what our plan is, is basically to paint the back half of all the windows so that the other half will be unpainted. We can prop that up against the fence and I guess do the other half another day because that's really all we can do. We're gonna get started and get these windows done. Watch us struggle so you don't have to. See you in the next clip. drying space and we had some leftover boxes that we are cutting to create more drying area. This was actually, we're repurposing our furniture. If you saw TikTok, <laughs> you know what we're talking about. I need boba. 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 What the fuck? What is that? That's gonna... the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my what life. What is it going to turn into though? Jessica says I have an idea and I literally cannot believe this genius. What what the heck is happening? It's, it's just a paper. I'm just wiping off the, the, the grass and stuff. Dude, I, I, I'm I amazed. I'm literally a genius. This is a genius why, idea. Why are you confused by this? We Bro, it works so good. Look, look. My, my goodness. Wow. So we just wanted to give you a quick little update. We're not showing everything that we're doing because it's pretty repetitive. I just want to give you a quick oversight of what's happening. So we did two coats initially of the self-etching primer. We're doing two coats of this black Rust-Oleum. We're going to finish it off with the two coats of the top coat. So we're going to have six coats all together. Uh, we're on the last can right now. So we're trying to make it last. Last coat of black paint. Last coat of paint. Woo. Oh yeah. 
sexy. That is sleek. It's like a Batmobile on our windows. This is day four of spray painting our windows. Last day, final day. We're going to be applying this crystal clear Rust-Oleum enamel. So good news, this enamel only takes like 10 to 15 minutes to dry. We plan on doing two coats. So all these should be done today. One moment. Uh, so Jessica, some people want to know what, what is this clear colored enamel? What is this for? What's the purpose? This is honestly not necessary. It was only necessary to do the primer and the paint. This is just because we really don't want it to chip or our hard work to, you know, go away. We're trying to make these windows the most durable as possible. So we're just doing two coats of just a clear, just to make sure. Thank you for your interview time, Jessica. Thank you so much. Yeah, babe, protect those windows. Yeah, babe, yeah. protect them. One can got us about six windows. So right now we're moving on and we are sealing the windows right now. Uh, obviously before we put subfloor in, we need to make sure that there's no water getting in the bus so the wood won't rot and we need to seal all the windows to make sure that that doesn't happen. We're gonna show you a comprehensive guide on how to make sure you're doing it right and we have some good tips and tricks that might help you along. And I just wanna give it some information. We've done a lot of testing with these windows. We have had a lot of failures. We've done a lot of water tests and they have continued to leak. So this is the method that we have finally come up with after two entire weeks worth of testing these windows to see if they were actually waterproof in the best way possible. So this is what we've come up with comprehensively to seal our school bus windows as they are all different. We struggled so you didn't have to. Now let's show you how it's done. The products we're going to be using are butyl tape. We originally bought a black butyl tape online but it was about $17 for 30 feet. This is $6 for 50 feet at Home Depot. And then we are going to be using a black polyurethane caulk on the outside of the windows once everything is sealed up with the butyl tape just as an added layer of protection in the hard to reach places. Most people say put butyl tape on the frames which we are going to but we are also going to be putting some on the actual window seal and hard to reach places. So back here I actually do a double layer of this butyl tape because this one is kind of thin but it was so cheap so I do a double layer of that then I cut it. You don't want to rip this off before you press it into place because it is really hard to press into place without this uh, wax paper on it. So you just smooth it into place Grab the corner and peel it off. Bam. If you're trying to do this yourself or are looking into research, you would know that these corners are the most problematic area people have difficulties with. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly what we do so you can understand better for yourself. So I'm using about this much butyl tape, just fold it in half, giving a little squeeze together, do another half, and I jam it in this corner, fill it in as fast as you can. Obviously I'm pushing very hard. This is what we found to work really good. And I'm gonna double that up to make sure it's twice as thin. So that's for the base of the frame itself. Now we're going to move to the actual window frame. So for the windows, we're going to be using a lot more butyl tape. How I like to start right here on this edge. You want to do it on the inner edge of the window here, since that's where it's going to be exposed. Push down, pull the butyl tape down as I'm going along. Okay, so once you get that down, you want to just push it down into place as best as you can with the wax paper on again. Don't take it off. Look what happens when you take it off. You get stuck to this. Rip away quickly. That's done. So satisfying. So the only adhesive that was actually on these frames originally was right here, but we're also going to add another layer of protection right down here just because why not? And it's not going to hurt to protect both the outside as well as the inside. To clarify further what we mean by that, this side of the frame right here is actually Actually what's going to be on the inside of the bus and this is where it's connected onto the beams so, so you this, can see right over here yeah let's you get it right here so there's going to be butyl tape on this half and then there's going to be butyl tape right here just to prevent any water from coming in this way so it's just extra protection and then this line of butyl tape right here works similarly it's the one directly behind this yellow beam that's where it's connected to So the bottom right here is the most important. So that's why this is the only spot on the entire window where we double up the beetle tape to make sure that we don't miss anything and that it's sturdy enough to withstand the test of time. 
These are those corners where it's leaking the most. So we are going to be putting a lot of butyl tape over here to prevent leaking. So what's the best way to do it? Master window sealer, Jessica. So in this L-shaped area, I'm gonna go ahead and put that right in there like that. I'm gonna do two layers like this. Bam, and you wanna push everything in, everything in. Look at the, the windows from all angles. Like right here, I can see a hole. Push it in, because you can't push it in once it's on the window. This is going to be on top of this area, so it's gonna be plenty of butyl tape in the corners. So you wanna be careful when placing these in, because they are very sticky, and in a couple of them, we miscalculated and ended up ripping butyl tape off by accident. So just make sure you line it up well before you place it. So right now the window doesn't fit when I'm looking to set it in, but you have to remember all that space that was empty is now filled with butyl tape. So you do have to go in and push down and kind of squeeze it out. So that way it forms a great seal. Okay, it's in. So we're gonna screw in the things that we kept the window in, so that way all the butyl tape is pushed into place tightly. Okay, so underneath here, you can see that there is a hole. So what we do is we grab some butyl tape, shove it in and make it look like this. So it just creates a perfect seal just like that. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do here. Last window, babe. Screw you. That's the window. Up, bro. That's screwed up. The win oh, you're getting the puns. You're punny. You're punny. Nice, 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 nice like ice, nice like rice. What? What? <laughs> already, already, already. Seal the bus. Seal the bus. No leaks in our bus. Bus. No water. Why water when you cannot have water? No mold. Only fun. No rust. My song is helping, right? Are we gonna get copywritten? So really quick, I just want to reiterate, obviously what we're doing is specific to our bus. We have about 22 windows. Not every window, not every frame was the same. Some were a little warped, some were a little misshaped, the angle was different and whatnot. Take that as you will. Everything might need to be adjusted a little bit, but just so you have that frame of reference. So we're moving everybody inside. I feel like it's important to point out that this line right here is where we're gonna add another bead of cock just to ensure added protection. So this is what the butyl tape looks like as soon as we installed the window and press it all down. As you can see, there's quite a lot sticking out. Some people choose to leave it. We decided to cut it. So let me just show you how we did that without removing any necessary butyl tape. I'm just following parallel to the window and just making this incision and following it down as best as we can. So after a professional push down, this is what we got it to look like right before we applied the polyurethane caulk to the outside. We found that a majority of our windows have a fatal flaw in their design. Yeah, I'll show you where it is. I ended up finding it right here. This little crack right here in the corner on the window, water goes in there. So we fill each of those corners with a little bit of caulk. Sometimes it can be your physical windows, not right. the way you're sealing. Them. Why are we caulking the window sill? The window sills we're gonna paint black anyway. So it doesn't really matter if the caulk is there. And then any excess like that you can see here that's like kind of looking ugly, we're just gonna use a scraper and um, do some cleanup on the window before we do the actual painting of the outside. So I'm not too worried about how things aesthetically look right now because it's not gonna stay that way. I'm just gonna walk you through pretty much what our finished windows look like. As you can see, the whole lip where there was once yellow is now all sealed with this black polyurethane caulk, as well as all the corners. That window corner itself that we were mentioning to you is sealed up. All along the sides of the window to the frame are all sealed up. And you know, if you have any questions, of course, please ask. This is just, again, what we felt like with our situation and our bus and our skill sets. This is what we decided to do. Okay. Yeah, holla freaking luya that's it y'all our windows are sealed and we're ready to keep going that was it comprehensive guide on how to seal paint remove reinstall waterproof your freaking bus windows dude and do that and now we can finally move on to the subfloor <laughs>
to stay tuned for the next part because we're excited. I know you have to be. Follow our school bus journey. Make sure to subscribe to us and stay tuned for more Jess and Jake. Yeah.